Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is going on eight o'clock in the morning on day two of our Disney Dream Cruise. We are heading downstairs right now to go to deck four or five midship. We are going to do an open house of the kids clubs. I got up relatively early and I looked at the Navigator app and I saw that there was going to be a kids club open house this morning at eight o'clock. I don't know exactly when else they're going to be doing something like this. So I figured why not get up a little early and check out some of the kids clubs and show you guys what it's like in there. I'll never get tired of this atrium. How gorgeous is this? I just, I love it. And I promise you, it sparkles and shimmers a lot more in person than it does in the video. It's incredible. They got the piano playing on its own. It's really nice. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Oh, well, for those of you guys wondering, it does look like the Midship Detective Agency is a thing. They got the pencils over here, and they have the little booklets. All right, we're heading on inside the Oceaneers Lab, and look who's in here. It's Goofy, hi! <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> How have you been? Happy to be back out at sea? <laughs> that is awesome. He's been swimming, tanning on the island. I'm sure, he looks like he's got a little bit of a tan going on. I love it. <laughs> well, it's good to see you again, Goofy. Am I the first one in here for the open house? Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit, Goofy. I'm going to do some exploring, okay? We have multiple different rooms inside these kids' clubs. We have a Disney Infinity Room, RIP the game. They discontinued that game. They're no longer supporting it or making figures for it or anything. But I remember playing this game. I had quite a bit of fun, and I'm so upset that I never got to play it in its prime. This game was really, really fun. It was basically like a Disney sandbox game. It was so cool. And in the next room over, we have Pixie Hollow. I love how the, I love how the stools are little mushrooms. That's adorable. And again, you know, because I don't have any children with me, I mean, I have Koda with me, but because I don't have any technical children with me, I haven't been able to really look too, too much into the kids' clubs as it is kind of age-restricted for, you know, obvious reasons so this is my really one chance to explore and to figure out what's really going on I'm not quite sure what kind of activities they are offering throughout the day while your kids are here but this is still a fun place to hang out let's come over next door we have the Star Wars themed area to the Millennium Falcon oh. No. okay we going we zooming Oh, uh, look, this is OG Star Tours. Star Tours, what are you doing here? This is a combat zone. It's restricted. Ease off on your main thrusters. Star Tours, what are you doing here? This is a combat zone. It's restricted. Ease off on your main thrusters. Oh my gosh, how many of you guys remember OG Star Tours? So just so you know, this one hallway that has both of the kids clubs is one way. So you can see we have social distancing markers coming up and arrows pointing in one direction. So you're not supposed to come from this way. Um, the main atrium is back over there. You can see the Midship Detective Agency uh, console right there coming this way. So, it, so yeah, that's the front. That's aft, and you're coming this way. It's one way. All right, so I don't know what time Koda's gonna be up, so I'm just gonna go ahead upstairs and grab some quick breakfast. So we just got up to Cabana's, and as soon as I walked out the elevator, I was asked to wash my hands if I was having breakfast. So I don't remember these hand washing stations being here all the time, but that's awesome. Let's head on inside and see how this works. Okay, so the quick rundown of it is that basically almost every side is the same, so what you see over here is the same as what they're gonna have over here, and in the center, they're gonna have the cold cuts and the cold cereals and the fruits and everything well i guess the cold fruits i should say that looks like cold cuts are right here but you guys understand so 
you come through and you basically tell them what you want and they will serve it to you. Everything here looks amazing. Can I also have uh, two hash browns, please? Uh, can I also have some eggs as well, please? Uh, that's fine, thank you. Alrighty, so we have made it outside. It is a gorgeous morning. It is not too hot at all. And here is my breakfast for the day. Not bad, not bad. Unfortunately, they don't have Mickey Waffles. The only place that you're going to find Mickey Waffles is down in the main restaurant. So that is very unfortunate. I wish that we could get all the Mickey Waffles we wanted. I'm not entirely sure why they don't have Mickey Waffles up here, but it is a thing right now. So I was asking one of the hostesses why the uh, Mickey Waffles weren't available, and they said because of COVID and all the, how all the procedures are changing, and in the interest of keeping things uniform and the stations the same, uh, they're no longer doing the Mickey Waffles up here. They're no longer doing the omelets and fried eggs up here. So um, you can only get those down in the main dining room. Um, tomorrow we're going to see if we can have breakfast in one of the main dining rooms just to see what it's like so that we can get Mickey Waffles and to see how it is. But I mean, I guess it does make sense in order to keep everything uniform and to keep both sides the same again. Just makes life a little bit easier. But it is unfortunate that you can't like get all the Mickey Waffles that you want. Which, I mean, I'm sure if you go down to the main dining rooms, you know, you can order as much as you want, but it's just, it's just not the same, you know what I mean? Again, the Disney difference. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of leaving the buffet right now gonna walk back downstairs to see Coda and our hit our, our server one of our servers from last night Sabrina from the Royal Palace she recognized me and greeted me by name what how how I barely have time to remember anyone else's name that I meet in my life I'm horrible with names but this girl was able to greet me by name as soon as she saw me after seeing me one time last night Bro, <laughs> that is awesome. And you know, she even asked about Dakota too. She's like, oh, where's Dakota? And I said, oh, she's downstairs sleeping, but she knew her by name. Wow. Overall, I was pretty disappointed in breakfast. I mean, the <laughs> the grits were nasty. I didn't I didn't like grit. I didn't like the grits. I normally love grits. Um, the pancakes were pretty bland, even with the syrup, they didn't have too too much flavor to them. But the um, sausage muffin was really good. The hash browns were good, and the like sausages were good. But overall, I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't really finish the eggs. The eggs were really watery. I didn't care too much for that. So hopefully we'll have a better experience down at the main dining room. I'm gonna check on Coda now and see if she's up. Good morning. <laughs> hey. You sleep well? No. Are you ready for breakfast? Yes. Yee. Yeah. There's a boat. We're on a boat. There's another one out there. Nah, a little tiny one? Um, sure. So now we are going to have breakfast at Enchanted Garden. All right, lovely. We got a table to ourselves right by the window as well. <laughs> I know you guys can barely see Coda right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so just like everything else, we have a QR code. It brings up the app. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got fresh fruit, salmon, yogurt. Goofy's get up and go. You guys are going to be able to pause and look at everything. Uh, peanut butter and jelly typhoon, Captain Jack's melon boat, DCL Express, Southern Hash, very, very French toast, eggs from the griddle. Again, you guys can pause if you're wanting to look at exactly what everything is. Power crepe, omelets, eggs benedict, and they got different cereals as well. Cream of wheat, cornflakes, raisin bran, really, really nice. From the bakery, they got danishes, assorted muffins, croissants, 
bagels, donuts, English muffins, toast, toast, toast. I think Coda definitely appreciates that Nugget has his own seat every time we go out somewhere. <laughs> this normally wouldn't be the case on a regular cruise, but because we're, you know, distanced from everybody, we get our own table, extra chairs. Nugget gets his own spot. Alrighty, breakfast has arrived. We found the Mickey waffles, and I decided to get an omelet with pretty much anything you can think of in it. So, looks delicious. Can't wait. Just as I suspected, these Mickey waffles are imposters. Definitely not the same recipe that they used before. This is just their regular Belgian waffle mix that they put in a Mickey waffle blend. So, to my understanding, there are no legit Mickey waffles on board like you used to know and love. And I'm very disappointed. I'm so sad. Like, these taste nothing like the kind of Mickey waffles that you used to get on cruise ships or on Disney property. And I have no idea why for the life of me we don't have those. Alright, so overall, breakfast was much better in one of the main dining rooms. I'm still very disappointed about the waffles though. Like, you order Mickey waffles, you're not gonna get the Mickey waffles that you know and love, so that's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hopefully it'll come back after this whole, you know, COVID thing is over. But now, we are going to make our way up and try to make it to Bingo. I know the pre-sales for the cards opened up at 11, or no, at 10.45, but we were still eating. It starts at 11.15, and it's going on 11.10 right now, so hopefully we can make it, maybe get a last minute Bingo card, and try to win some money. <laughs> All right, so we have made it to Bingo. We did the $40 one, so we had $40 charged to the room. This is already super stressful. Like, right now we're doing a four corners game on the blue cards, and then we have other cards. We have an orange, a green, and a yellow. Oh gosh, we have so many games. <laughs> we got a stander, we're one away. We need, we need B7. We need B7. <laughs> we need B7. Number one. No. No. <laughs> we need we need a seven. We need a B seven. Okay, so for this round we basically need a six pack. So one two three, one two three. If that makes any sense. So it can be one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, anywhere. As long as it's like a six pack of soda, you know. I mean, some could say beer. Whatever works for you. Whatever helps you remember. But yeah. I just need one more. I just need one more. Come on. I was so close. I was one away. Mm. Look at that. Coda's got a bingo. <laughs> Yay. Hello. This one. This one. <laughs> What's your name and where you're from? Dakota from Tampa. Dakota from Tampa. And it looks like we've got Anna on the scene. Anna, tell us, is I 22 on the card? Yes, it is. Alright, what is that middle card number? One, two, seven, seven, five, one. One, two, seven, seven, five, one. You know what to do if it goes green on the screen or if it goes well. We're looking for green. Here we go. That is Indy! <laughs> there it is! Good job, babe! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Any other place of bingo on the number I, 22? Speak now, or forever hold your bingo. Y'all better stay quiet. <laughs> uh, 8644. Time to close out this game of bingo. And you know what to do, everyone. Bingo's out. And 644. Yes. Where's the bingo? Out of here, let's go with Anna. Anna, tell us who is our third lucky winner. The winner from Tampa. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, look at you. <laughs> there you go, look at that, a hundred and six dollars. All right, we are changed into our bathing suits. Time to head upstairs, hit up the pool, maybe grab a pina colada, and ride the aqua duck. So let's head on upstairs. Gonna switch over to the GoPro. Look at how gorgeous it is outside. Oh my God. It is a gorgeous day. And you can see they have the pools roped off so that they can control how many people are going in and out. And overall, it's not very crowded at all, to be completely honest. It's more chairs than anything. 
but we did come up here to do the aqueduct and it is a one hour wait i don't exactly know what i expected from a sea day but either way i i mean we'll see how it works and if we have to come back later to then get in line we'll see but either way i got the gopro we want to ride the aqueduct we're gonna do it all right so i know it may be a little bit hard to see but down there we are just kind of cruising along the coast of freeport so there's a little bit of land there it is such a beautiful afternoon really hot but beautiful we found some nice chairs in the shade right underneath the aqueduct we got the big tv over here i am ready to ride and to relax afterwards Enjoy that? <laughs> oh no. I am so sorry guys. <laughs> it's all fogging up in oh, the middle. No. Well guys, uh, add that to the bucket list. Uh, I broke the aqueduct. <laughs> um, the GoPro that was attached to my head went flying off on the very first drop and so they had to stop the ride. And after you know calling a leader in some debate, they sent some more people through and eventually the GoPro just came with the people that came through. So uh, yeah, not only did I break the ride, but I think we might have cracked the GoPro. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but uh, there's definitely moisture inside the lens that is not on the outside. Like there's definitely stuff that got in there. Oh dear. We're going to have to check up on it later. Hopefully it dries out and maybe it's nothing too serious that we can still use it at Castaway Key, but man, that is unfortunate. Pluto's coming! Pluto's coming! <laughs> Look at him lounging. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Put his ear over his eyes. <laughs> Hi Pluto! <laughs> we're, we're enjoying the shade! <laughs> Good job, Pluto. <laughs> All right, so I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but you see how the pools are roped off. So they have an entrance and exit over here and an entrance and exit over here. Actually, it looks like that's the exit and that's the entrance. People line up and you get 10 minutes in the pool before you have to get out and line back up again if you want to get back in. So it is unfortunate the way that it's working, but it is the best way to do it without having to do like a reservation system like people have rumored and um, without like a virtual queue, so yeah. Either way, oh hey look, it's Goofy! <laughs> we got both the dogs over here. <laughs> Alrighty, we are all showered and changed. We are heading down to deck four, I believe, for our mixology class. In case you guys are curious about tonight's outfits, I'd like to think I'm looking pretty good. 
with some nice sneaks. And <laughs> Coda's outfit in there. A little bit of a runway show. <laughs> All right, we have made it into the Skyline Lounge. They got everything set up. The drinks are already pre-made. You can see everyone's got a little station over here. So that is that is so cool. I've said this once and I'll say it again. I love that they make everybody sanitize before we do anything. If we go anywhere, they immediately ask you to sanitize. I love it. You might enjoy this drink. So playing with the sparkling wine actually has become very popular in the last few, uh, um, you know, few years, especially um. <laughs> I could drink this whole thing right now. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's at the bottom. <laughs> so that drink that we just had is a pineapple kamikaze. Very interesting. That was good. We have some rum fan. Yeah, perfect. So a normal fashion, yeah. it's very flavor of the rum. As soon as we put it Cherry juice, a little stir, ready to go. Thank you. I just like to say that I am not as big of a drinker as Coda is, so all of this is new to me. You don't like it? It's a little strong, but if you notice, like the rum is something that is not is compared wow. to some of the rum, goes a little bit nice and smooth, okay? So, Saya, what's the wrong that I use this time to make this cocktail? If you find this wrong, oh yeah, you will enjoy it. Wow. Very yeah, this smells really, really good, but it is way, way too strong for me. No thanks. To lay the glass a little bit, with the beginning of the edge of the other glass, go slow in the other one, very, very slow, ladies and gentlemen, and it will float on top of the other one. Okay, one, two, three, there you go. Ooh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me go yours. Look at that. Wow, that's so freaky. It's cool. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Centro. Centro. Adentro. Let's go ahead and have your shot. Remember, very important, ladies and gentlemen, one time drink, okay? Yeah. Do not sip it. I don't want to see anybody sipping it. Please go ahead and have your shot. Why is my heart pounding? It's very good, yeah. I'm telling you, I have this shot so many times. And it's very good. Oh. Oh my god. You know, it's gonna be very sweet, but no, it's just, oh my god. Yeah, you don't swallow it, you just get a little cherry touch at the end. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's like chocolate. It's like it tastes like milk chocolate. Yeah. So this what in the world? Shot, right? Oh my god! I don't do shots, oh but that was really good. <laughs> that was great. I love that. All right, just got done with mixology. That was so much fun. I I didn't think I would enjoy that. I was there just for you know emotional support for Coda, but I really enjoyed that. And a lot of the drinks there were surprisingly good, especially that shot that we took at the end. It was like drinking milk chocolate. It was so good. <laughs> Tastes like a Hershey, yep. So, anyways, we have about an hour until dinner starts. We're gonna head back to the room, relax for a little bit, and then, um, <laughs> and then head on down to dinner. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, we were having him for breakfast earlier. So we have sat down, we have our QR code. Let's take a quick look at the menu. We have our specialty cocktails over here. Smoked salmon tartare, serrano ham. We have black truffle pasta, tomato tart. For an appetizer, soup and salads, we have butternut squash soup and uh, cheddar cheese soup, arugula leaves and chicken walnut salad. We have our bread service and for main courses, uh, panette bolognese grilled tuna steak. We have uh, chicken breast, herb crusted pork chop, ginger teriyaki, dusted Angus beef tenderloin, 
and here are some of your vegetarian options as well and as always you can go ahead and pause the video if you so desire and you want to take a closer look at what some of these other options include. Coda, are you entertained by this? This is what I wanted you to see the most. <laughs> because this is definitely Coda's area of expertise. And here's a look at our little napkin for the evening. It looks really cute. You know, I'm gonna keep talking about the Disney difference. And I love how servers that aren't even assigned to us remember our name. Like this morning when we went to breakfast at Royal Court, or no, we went to breakfast at Enchanted Garden. The server that, that helped us at Enchanted Garden, he's walking around here. He's actually like the area next to us at Animator's Palette. He remembered our name, he greeted us by name when we walked in. Not even assigned to us, I love that. So Coda's five, and she decided to get a souvenir sipper. And what was the main deciding factor in getting the souvenir sipper, babe? He's floppy. <laughs> <laughs> because he's floppy. <laughs> Can we just talk about how Crush looks high as a kite? <laughs> I mean, kind of the point, you know, but still, <laughs> he looks extra out of it. And Coda's just gonna be fiddling with his flippers all night already my appetizer black truffle pasta i've heard a lot of good things from other people who have done disney cruise vlogs very excited to try this out and what did you get the loaded baked potato soup basically loaded baked potato soup all right looks good oh my god that was so good there was only four four little pastas in there so i definitely recommend like get multiple i know i'm gonna get multiple as soon as my server comes back i'm asking for another one possibly one more after that because that is good like i can honestly have a whole dinner out of just the black truffle pasta that was amazing all right so our main course has arrived um i'd like to think that this is the beef or the tuna not not too sure i ordered the tuna and the beef sirloin tenderloin looks like something beef. another hold on let's go ahead let's go ahead and stab this thing Oh yeah, this is definitely the tuna. <laughs> that, that's definitely tuna. It looks really good and smells awesome. Can't wait to try this. And Coda, what did you get? The penny pasta? The carbonana. The carbonana? <laughs> Carbonara. <laughs> Are you not part of the turtle club? <laughs> no, you're a part of the turtle club. <laughs> and we got a second entree to try the beef medallion looks pretty good i mean on the outside it kind of looks like it could be a little dry so we'll see when i cut it open and i know it kind of looks bad in the camera but that is a pretty good medium rare okay so we're here at animator's palette and nothing on the dessert menu really catches my eye it's nothing really interests me so this is something that you can do you can request another dessert from a previous restaurant or a different restaurant so yesterday we had dinner at Royal Palace I really really liked the souffle so I'm gonna ask our server if we can get that dessert because I really like that heck yeah buddy direct from Royal Palace round two souffle and Coda got a cookies and cream ice cream <laughs> all right bruh 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 they didn't need to do that oh my god oh oh it's a good thing I barely ate I mean barely I mean like I ate like half of each entree oh lord all right time to slowly roll ourselves out of here <laughs> all right guys we just got back to the room Sana has turned down our room and we got a flipping lobster <laughs> I love it oh my gosh that is great they do so much. Yeah, of course we got candy, girl. We got our chocolate. So Coda attempted to save the crab yesterday. He rested. He rested over there. Yeah, I mean, to your credit, you did save him. Oh, his tail's gone. <laughs> now she's trying to do the same thing with the lobster. Don't think my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're fat. <laughs> I mean, same. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da. Back in the room, back out on the balcony, and it is just a glorious evening. And the sun has, we, we, we assume, set. We thought we were going south, but, uh, um, 
yeah, I mean, we're somewhere. But anyways, like, I was just talking to Coda. Like, we are just going turtle pace through the water. And I really appreciate these sea days compared to the sea days that you get on the seven night sailings where you're heading towards the Eastern Caribbean. Because you're going you know back-to-back -back sea days and you are zooming through the water and you are feeling every little bump like the ship is rocking back and forth on those sea days but today you couldn't even feel a thing barely because we're going so slow and I really appreciate that I don't know it's just something that I noticed and something that I wanted to tell you guys about there's Coda <laughs> all right it is time to head on down to the theater and watch believe I got my tripod with me because as soon as we exit the theater we got to go up to the top deck for those fireworks and I'm not missing that want to make sure you guys get a really good view and for those of you folks asking unfortunately they're not selling any concessions or popcorn or anything right before the theater so last time we saw the popcorn is on sale in the um, what, what is it called the room service menu but other than that, I don't see popcorn anywhere else. Alrighty, we have made it up on deck for Disney Ever After. A lot of social distancing markers. You can see everyone is spaced out. There is the logo for Disney Ever After right there up on the screen. This is the first time this has been shown to the general public other than the actual test cruises. You can see a lot of other guests on the upper levels as well. So this is the first of two showings. They're going to be doing this again tomorrow night for the guests that are in the second seating of dinner. This is only for guests in the first seating of dinner. You can see Nugget is uh, jamming out right now. Hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted. We'll see. But either way, we are all set up and ready to go on our marker. Look up to the sky, where once upon a time leads to Disney Ever After. Come on, I know you're tired. Back to the room. Let's go. 